Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to access or get access to the edu educational license for Maya. Um, so we're going to download Autodesk Maya 2025. The link below takes you right uh, it takes you right to where to download Autodesk Maya 2025. So you can click on this link and then this one, um, they're actually the same exact link. I, For whatever reason, when I put it in there, it just didn't work. So I stuck with this one. You click on that link. It's going to show you an overview of all of their software. You're going to scroll down just a little bit once it's completed loading and you're going to click on the Maya. You're going to hit select. We're going to do subscription plans. Um, in this case, student, I guess and click continue. And then we are going to enter our email address. I agreed to the terms. You're probably gonna to wanna to use your uh, school email for this. Um, maybe not, maybe you can use your personal. I, I, I use my uh, school email for this, so just so you know. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna type in first last name, educational role, student, um, date of birth, I will go to 1998. This isn't really my birthday. I just don't want to share my personal information. January 1st of 1998. I'll click continue. I'm not going to click on address because I don't want it to populate my personal information. Um, so I'm going to leave it blank and I won't be able to go to the next step without typing it in. However, um, you'll type in the uh, add school information. You're going to put in the address of the school, the city, the state, obviously, postal code. Um, you're going to select the institutional type, high school or secondary or university post-secondary. I don't know if it really matters. You'll type in McHenry and it's going to pop up for Crystal Lake, Illinois. You're going to copy and paste the school website, um, McHenry.edu, right? And then graduation date, just put in your expected graduation date click this is information is accurate, click continue, and then you're gonna have educational verification. It's gonna tell you exactly what you need. Um, I don't recall what I used for this year, but and many times I've um, included the classes I'm teaching. Um, I literally screenshotted the courses that I am teaching um, and uploaded that before. Um, I think I've used a uh, ID, you know, like a school ID, um, but just follow whatever it says and then it'll grant you access. You'll download, et cetera, et cetera. So you're good to go there. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Um, I just don't want to share all of my personal info. And I know as soon as I click on it, it's going to come up with my, my home address. Um, so now I'm going to got all that done. I'm going to go to my sign in, uh, next, just follow it step by step and then click sign in. And now I can download really any 3D software um, that I want. Now when you're downloading Maya, it's gonna ask you to, if you'd like to add, it probably more than likely will ask you if you wanna add a plugin called Arnold, you're gonna click on the little checkbox that you're gonna install Arnold. That's the render we're gonna be using for this semester. So. Um, I just clicked in my head because I saw it right here. But once you start to install this, it will actually install into the software, just so you know. So um, it even comes with a little tab under, it's actually right here, Arnold, boom, render. So it's rendering software and it's built right into Maya. Um, if it does come up with that checkbox, would you like to install Arnold? Click yes. I in install all of them, something called Bifrost something. and. Um, I download them all just off the generic one because um, I want us to all sort of be on the same page in case uh, you have questions about it. But um, anyway, that's all there is to it. And then when you first open up Maya, it's going to uh, come up with like a confirming license. It may even ask you to confirm an email or something, verify an email, but um, it'll pop right up and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So that is the quick little summary of how to access your educational um, uh, license for Maya. And uh, other than that, that's kind of all I got. You can even go on Google and just Google educational license for Maya or Autodesk Maya. That's the software we use. Um, and it'll pop right up like the first thing on Google. So um, 
if you have questions, concerns, struggling to install, uh, whatever it might be, shoot me a text on um, Canvas Inbox and I will respond to your question as quickly as possible, but you need to have this software in order to work in this course. The entire 3D modeling course is based off of this software. So um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, pretty simple stuff um, and just uh, get it downloaded and, and get to it. So um, watch the before you begin videos. That's gonna show you how to, the core little tools and uh, techniques and principles that uh, like a brief overview of everything, how to navigate in Maya and, and get used to it. Um, and then we're gonna get right into labs and the labs will cover literally every single step of the way of what we are doing. So um, again, can't emphasize it enough, questions, concerns, whatever it might be, grading, anything, trying to download Maya, trying to install Maya, shoot me a message, let me know. Um, if you are struggling to download it, install it, etc., because you have an older computer and it's just not working well, something like that, um, the only other option I have for you would be the eLab in um, at MCC. So um, that's how you could go about getting your coursework done uh, in an alternative method. If your computer crashes right during the semester at some point and you can't get to a new computer, can't purchase a new computer right away, use the facility uh, it's in the e-lab it uh, has all the software you need to work in this program so um, other than that i uh, definitely hope we all have a wonderful semester and uh, stay tuned for the next one um, I'm, the whole course is just videos of me demonstrating and lecturing all this stuff so um, Stay tuned, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know if you have any issues with it. All right. Thanks. Bye.